Sun starting to peek through the clouds just a bit as it's shaping up to be a fine day for our national pastime as we welcome you into this afternoon edition of Major League Baseball presented by the show. And we'll see a career first right here. He's been used as a reliever before, but this will be his first career starting assignment, so obviously a big game for him to say the least. And defensively, here's how Washington will take the field behind him. Neil Walker will stride forward, currently sitting in sixth place in the race for the National League hitting crown. And the first pitch of the afternoon is taken for ball one, and we are underway at the Beltway. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. And that misses, so it's a full count three and two. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Hard hit towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Around first, digging for two now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Austin Kearns will come forward now back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off and he catches the inside corner for a called strike nothing in one now for Walker another extra base hit to add to the total now 19 on the year outside for a ball one and one there's a swing and a ball lifted to left but back in the seats out of play it's one and two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Oh, and when that pitch left his hand, I bet he thought he had a strikeout. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Andrew McCutcheon will get his first shot down, and he's seen that average climb a bit here recently thanks to what he's done over the course of these last five ball games. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Two and one now. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. Full count now, three and two. We're not even five minutes into this game, and already we've got a big battle here at the plate. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. Morse will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Chris Ornelas will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And for a guy who hasn't given up any runs yet, this will be pitch number 20 here in the first inning. Lays off again, and it's 2-0. and oh. Already 20 pitches here in the first. That's got to be a cause for concern. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's 2-1 and one now. Now he turns on one and rips it down the line. He's got it. And he will take this to the bag himself. A great play there that certainly saved a run as they get out of the inning unscathed. We'll jump forward in this one to the top of inning number two. Garrett Jones will stand in now. Two hits in five trips for him in yesterday's ball game. Ball one. Here's the 1-0. 
And the 1-0 is sent out to straightaway center field. Denorfia is under this one. One down. So one away in the inning, and with that, we'll get a look at where the Nationals sit entering play in the National League East race. Clint Barmas will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. A fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now here's the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, and he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's 1-2. and two. One two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Denorfia is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Jose Morales will stand in as one of the stars from yesterday's ball game as he had three hits in the victory. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Hey, you watching the same game up here? 2 and 0. Oh. No score here as we play inning number 2. 2-0 two -oh count, the pitch. All the strike on the outside corner, 2 and 1. And even though he got his fastball in the zone on 2-0, and oh, that's a good take. You won't do much with it when it's located there. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3-1. and one. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Chase Darno will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. Now a ground ball towards the hole, and that is into right field, a base hit. Throw will hold that runner at second, so there are two on now with two away. Jeff Karstens will get his first opportunity now. First pitch on the way. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. They've got an opening here, so this is where you can really jump on a guy out there before he's settled in. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Number 77 digs in now with a chance to do a little damage and give his club the lead in the early going. Now the first pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Getting that first pitch is very important when you got the bases loaded. Back-to-back -back fastballs here as he takes control 0-2. This would be a big pitch if he could get him here and keep this game tied. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. And the throw will be too late as he couldn't get enough on it, and that'll score the run from third. I will bet you dollars to donuts that that fellow right there, once this ball was hit on the ground, thought he'd be out of the inning. Instead, they can't get it out here. It's an infield single. The run scores from third, and the inning continues. Ian Desmond will stand in with a golden opportunity to open this thing up early on. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Darno is there to make the catch, and they'll escape the bases loaded jam by giving up just one run. 
Back with Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, Matt Vaskersian as Pittsburgh native Neil Walker strides forward now to get things started for the Buckos in their half of the inning. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Austin Kearns will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Line to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Andrew McCutcheon will try it again. He flew out his first time. In there for strike one. Another first pitch strike. He's had these guys working from behind quite a bit here in the early going. And that misses one and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball and he missed it. It's three and one now. And this is where he's dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take it deep. Fastball in there, three and two. And that's off his leg on the mound. But they'll get the out at first anyway. And that, rather bizarrely, will end the inning. We'll move ahead now to the top of inning number four. Chris Ornelas will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. In there, and it's 0-1. And I would be wary about giving him another pitch there. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. And, and one thing you can say about him on the mound, he certainly has been the aggressor in this at bat, coming right after him. Out in front a bit as this is pulled down the line to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Garrett Jones will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1-0. 1-0 oh. oh pitch now. In there, 1-1. One one. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. He's already up to 51 pitches now, and he's only lasted three and a third so far. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Good hitters count here. He can afford to be selective. And this is hit well towards the hole. In time to first, and there are two away. Clint Barmas will try it again. He flew out his first time. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1-0. Oh. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third base line. But a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Now a curveball in there. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. Still down 3 nothing. Number 77 will stand in. An RBI single in his first appearance. And the pitch. This is hit sharply to the left side. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. Time to pick this one up now in the top of inning number five. Jose Morales will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Swinging a tapper out in front. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Well, and when you're fighting just to get on the scoreboard, going after the first pitch of an inning and grounding out is certainly not going to help matters much. Chase Darneau comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Yeah, after a first pitch ground out to start the inning, that's not a bad idea to look at one there. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. 
And they'll come inside with this one, but the result's the same. It's to two and one now. Now a swing and a fly ball hit fairly well out to deep center field. Denorfia is back to the warning track, though, as he gloves it for the second out. Jeff Karstens will dig in. He popped out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He's closing in on putting up yet another zero. Hit hard down the left field line, but this will be foul. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. 1-2-3 go the Pirates. They trail in this one 3-0. Number 77 will dig in one for two thus far. Now a fastball by Reyes, good for strike one. And think what a disaster it would be if the pitcher could keep this going. Strike two. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So four runs on four hits. Neil Walker will make his way in as he leads things off here in the Pirates' half of the sixth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. And I thought for a while that his pitch count was going to become a factor, but that last quick inning really helped him out quite a bit. Now it's 2-0. and oh. Well, here's where that old phrase of walk is as good as a hit really applies. Just get on somehow. And some trouble here out of the chute. 3-0 and oh to start the sixth. Not how you want to start an inning on the mound with a big lead. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Austin Kearns will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. and Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. In for a strike, it's 1-1. One and one. And he has consistently hit that spot so far, unlike his counterpart who could not seem to locate his pitches. Sticking with the soft stuff here as this misses, it's 2-1. and one. Gotta credit their patience here in this inning. They're just letting him work himself into trouble. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Andrew McCutcheon will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. And he drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0 and 2. I mean, that couldn't have been an easy take. And this is fouled back and out of play. Oh. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Chris Ornelas will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ball game. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. That changeup away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. Swung on and missed. One and one. Just rearing back and throwing the heater by him right there. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. If they're going to continue to get themselves out on pitches out of the strike zone like this, they're going to have a hard time getting back into this ball game. I mean, this pitch is really not at all that close, but you can't lay off of it. 
ball two. And one thing you can't do here, you can't lose him and load the bases. He's still got two pitches to play with, but I would expect this one to be in the zone. 2-0 is a fastball, not close. He's behind 3-0 and now. All right, 3-0, and and the watchword here needs to be restraint. Make sure he can find the strike zone before you start helping him out. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. He'll go the short way to Espinosa, and the side is retired. Pirates strand. Time to move ahead to the top of inning number seven. Clint Barmas will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Now here's a fastball at the knees, and that location has paid off for him so far. It's 0-1. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, in general, the more you can work in that lower half of the zone, the more success you're going to have. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line in right, but this is going to wind up out of play. Fastball, and he popped it up back into short right field. And the seventh inning starts with a fly out here, one away. Jose Morales will step in, a ground out victim as last time. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. 1-0 on the way. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Throw on to first, two gone. Chase Darno will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Hmm, I'm surprised he didn't take a whack at that one. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Number 77 will get another crack, one for three thus far. Here we go. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Come on. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Kearns will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. Jose Tabata is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Eighth inning here from our nation's capital. Home standing Nationals lead this one as you get a look at the line score through the first seven and change. Neil Walker is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Boy, and even late in the ball game, Matt, he's still getting that fastball up in the mid-90s. Good curveball that time in the low 80s, nothing in two. Oof. That is one of the best he's thrown this afternoon. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. To two balls and two strikes now. Yeah, and once you see a guy three or four times in a game, it's easy to see patterns in how they pitch you. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Up next for 
Austin Kearns will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Now here's the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Got him. He's through eight with the shutout intact. Home half of the eighth. And we'll move forward now to the top of inning number nine. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Up and in there with the first pitch fastball. It's ball one. And as he goes for the complete game, it's worth pointing out, he's just five over the minimum so far. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and that evens the count at one and one. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Here he comes again, one, two. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Chris Ornelas will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Fastball misses inside. It's even at 1. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Down low, two balls and a strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. And this is what you want against a guy that's tiring. Really grind out the at-bat. Oh, and he puts some muscle into this one. High and deep out to center field. Denorfia is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Well, this has been a thoroughly dominating performance out there. He's kept these guys guessing all game long, and he's just one out away now from picking up a well-deserved complete game shutout. Garrett Jones is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Oh, boy, these guys have got to be saying, thank goodness this one's almost over. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Outside, two and one. Got to make sure you finish off your pitches. These last two have taken off on him a bit. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. Fourteen pitches now here in the ninth inning. He's having to work for it. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location, and he is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo home run for Garrett Jones. Number 13 for him on the year, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. And he hasn't faced a whole lot of adversity on the mound so far. Let's see how that home run affects him. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. It doesn't take a trained eye to tell you. He's starting to wear down a bit out there on the mound. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Might be a little shell-shocked after the home run. He's showing a little reluctance to put one over the plate here. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. And he will make the catch to wrap this one up. And the Nationals are back in the win column again. They take game three of the series, and the ball game is over. So a good job of collectively swinging the bats in this one, but if we had to single out one guy who outshined all others, I think it's the man who stands out right here. He's our top...